Hey guys, so today on the channel we're talking about plants. Um, I took a trip to Home Depot. I have a love-hate relationship with big box stores, but I like to see what they have to see if I can save anything. Some peace lilies, African violets, orchids, they'll always have those. Um, and then I saw some jade plants too, and a couple bonsais, dracaenas, um, some palms, some majesty palms, a little bit of a monstera there, a chiflera, and then some, what are these called again? <laughs> Ficus trees. Uh, okay, look at this succulent, like, stand. I'm not gonna lie, they did a pretty good job with showing all the really colorful and beautiful succulents. They all look really healthy. It was really hard for me not to grab one of these, just because, um, I love succulents so much. And look at those, all those Horthias. I love adding Horthias to arrangements. I feel like they bring, like, such a nice texture and a different contrast to, like, the succulents I usually add. Here's some more. An aloe and a donkey tail. That donkey tail was only $12. I should have grabbed one. This is such a cute succulent. I just wanted to do uh, close-ups of some succulents that I really loved. This is so adorable. Look at how many little heads it has. Should have grabbed this one. And look how cute this Black Prince is. It's one of my mom's favorites. Two heads on that one too. So adorable. And this looks really good in arrangements too. And then here's another one. I love the darkish purple. Like, honestly, it's perfect. Vera Higgins. And I hear this one's kind of rare. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. The sedum is so perfect, one of my favorites. Such a good one for arrangements too. And this one, literally so difficult to keep alive. I have a variegated version that has like two leaves and it's the fourth one I'm trying to keep alive. <laughs> this is so adorable. I love the texture on it and it seemed to be flowering. And then this one is so cute too. I love the shape. Love, 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 love Horthias. Look how many pups this one has. All jam packed in there, and then I moved over to the cacti. I love cacti so much. Um, I try to find really rare ones like this one. I don't have, I wanted to buy it, but there was glue literally on the side of it because that stupid flower they had. And look how they treat their plants, guys. Here, this is the aloe that I had killed. Um, I showed it in my last plant, plant funeral, but it was only a stump and it was unrecognizable, so that's what it was. If you guys saw that video. Look at how they take care of their plants, guys. This is so disappointing. It makes me want to come rescue everything and try to save everything. And there's so many cute gems here. I actually wanted to buy a couple, but I was, like, holding out on myself. Like, I really, like, I tried to take control and not buy anything when I came here. That corn cob, black, corn cob plant, corn cob cactus that I just pointed to. Yeah, this one. One of my favorite cacti. And I've never seen it in stores before. I should have bought that one. I have one, but it's a variegated version. Look at these $5 tropicals. Super cute. And then some hanging uh, plants too. Love. I wasn't about to pay though $20 on a plant that I already had a cutting of. I do want a full plant, but I would much rather uh, not buy from a big box store. <laughs> Now, these succulents, they look way happier than the cactus on the other side. Look at that aeonium, so pretty. Love. They have really good, cute ones here. And look at that full one, it's so pretty. Look at those sedums. Those are so good for arrangements, guys. And look at these. I think they look like little flapjacks. And then as you go down the shelf, uh, some of them look kind of sadder, but there are still a few gems. Look at this one. So perfect. I'm doing a voiceover, by the way, because um, everyone in the Home, Home Depot was screaming and there was music blasting, so I couldn't even talk. Um, love these cacti. Look at that one. They do overprice these cacti. The ones in the little bags for some reason. It must be from a different seller. Um, but at least they don't glue those stupid plastic plants on there. These plants look more similar to the ones they actually bloom. Look at this Haworthia. <gasps> it's so perfect. I should have grabbed it. There's literally a million little babies. 
and look at these succulents so perfect just obsessed with the colors and um this is when my phone started to die so i had to just show an overview love this aurelia so pretty i think it's a false aurelia i think it's called one of my favorite plants i definitely need to add one of these to my collection i just have to figure out the perfect space and i want to learn about her before i add her there's some cane plants some ficus what else is there shiflera i'm not sure what that's in the front some crow in and right before my phone died this is the rest guys i hope you enjoyed